Welcome to the journey. Today we're gonna cover what's the best link for your online video. And the answer is, it depends. This has been the journey. Until next time. All right, Neely, before we even get into length, what are best practices to just get an online video up and running? Well, let's start off with what it what you need to get a video up and running, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of us think that we need like a fancy production studio with super expensive cameras and lighting and <laughs> all this cool stuff. The answer is you don't. All you need is that thing in your pocket, your phone, right? It had, takes some Smartphone. pretty good quality. Yeah, no rotary phones. Not my mom's phone. Yeah, it may not Flip work. Flip phone won't quite cut it, okay. Those old razors, <laughs> yeah. fire. But you just need your phone to start creating content. It doesn't have to be world-class quality because what matters is the quality and the content that you're giving your audience and what you're really portraying to them. Mm -hmm. And after you really make the video, record it, you gotta edit it, right? Unless you're doing just as is, you wanna see yeah. see the bloopers, which I mean, I personally love the bloopers. It's my favorite part. It's me stumbling over the words. We have a lot, Yeah, like a lot. A lot. But there are lots of apps, free or paid, you can use to really make video depending on your skill level. So what I like to talk about with a lot of just first time users is just using an app on your phone. Go to your, your app store, whether Android, iOS, or Windows, or whatever else you might use, right? And just search video editor. There's a ton that'll pop up and you can edit it right from your phone. You can do it all from your phone. Right? All right, Neely, I talk about content creation all the time. Literally all the time. That and pizza. He's right. But why would I create video content? What's the advantage of video content? Because to me, that's always like the next level yeah. of effort and time. I mean, you're not wrong. Like most of us go around creating blog posts or little mm -hmm. tweets or little content mm -hmm. that's micro content, but video is where it's at. It's where all of your users, your audience, your customers, your clients, whatever you call them, that's where their attention is going. We, we watch video a lot more than we like to read because I mean, we're visual people, right? Mm -hmm. And not only that, it's actually gonna help you boost your SEO when you start to put it on all these platforms that we'll talk about in a little bit. All right, now to really answer the question of how long should your online video be, mm -hmm. we're really gonna have to break it down by each platform because as you mm -hmm. know, the social media guru here, each platform is different. So let's kick it off with YouTube, basically where you're at here. So a lot of research has gone into this to really figure out that the best length for videos on YouTube are anywhere between 10 and 16 minutes. It's kind of the sweet spot. Now, you don't need to do this every time because that's a lot of content, right? Yeah. That's so we've learned. So it's such on a On the journey. On the journey. This is the journey. But with, with YouTube content, they also, users that are on there don't like short content. So things under four minutes, it's gonna get a lot of dislikes. People go on there because they wanna see quality. They wanna see actual video content and tips and all these cool things on YouTube. Yeah, and they're now, ready to invest the time. All right, Emma, so you're the expert on Facebook, so I'm gonna let you kick it off with the video length for Facebook. Yeah, quite different than YouTube. You wanna do two to four minutes. So the complete opposite, Yeah, right? and the reason for that is because of the user's behavior there. They're scrolling, there's a ton of content to get yep. through. They're not there to invest, sit down, get some popcorn. That's more of a YouTube style. Right, they're there just for that, that quick interaction because they're scrolling through their feed and then maybe your video catches their eye and they want to see it really quick, mm -hmm. but the attention span isn't there on Facebook, they're out. Right? And speaking of short attention spans, Instagram is actually a minute. Right. The, or less. A minute or less, uh, but caveat there, right? So Instagram posts itself, the most you can post on there is a minute. What a lot of people will do is they have some of the same content throughout each platform, but broken up, right? Mm -hmm. So if I have my 10 to 16 minute YouTube video, I'll put a clip of a minute or less of some of the best parts of it to kind of give a shout out, say, hey, cool, yes. this is my video, and then link in the bio, which links me to yeah. other content. A little teaser, yeah, just a, little, a little hint. A little bit, and then IGTV is kind of blowing up lately. You can mm -hmm. now post it in your feeds and it'll show up on your actual profile too. And that's up to 10 minutes you can post your content on. Um, so you can kind of play around, see what's what's best for your business because what might work for coffee and kickflips may not work for you. So mm -hmm. the biggest advice that I can give you is 
just test it out and see what works for you because the, the, the statistics that we're giving you it may not apply to your brand or your followers. Maybe they'd like our content or maybe they like 30 second sound bites. Who knows? All right, super helpful to know about the different platforms, different links. So thinking about my business, coffee and kick flips. Now I'm thinking what types of videos, right? Because do I want to do what's happening in the back on the ramp? Or do I want to focus on the latte art or the merchandise? I don't know what kind of video should I do when it comes to my business, but also for other businesses out there. The answer is yes. All of it. <laughs> so to dive in that a little bit deeper, right? You want to basically just open up your business. So you can post educational content like how to make a latte oh, or that's a good how idea. to do a kickflip or whatever your business is of those how to. <laughs> or do a kickflip while also doing latte art. I challenge I you. Don't recommend it. Don't try this at home. I mean, not a doctor, but don't do it. So with those educational videos, the biggest pushback that I get is, why would I teach people about what I do as a business? And my response to that is, someone else is gonna do it already, so it might as well be you. You'll be shown as a trusted authority mm -hmm. that knows what they're doing. Like, I can probably watch your video on how to make a latte, but I don't wanna make a latte and have to do all that. Yeah. Or I can watch a video on how to fix my car. I'm not gonna wanna fix my car. I'm gonna hire someone to do it. But position yourself as the expert, right. is what you're someone saying. Someone goes on yeah. there and watches your video, yeah. like, oh, Emma knows what she's doing. I'm gonna yeah. go there, right? So create that educational content, or like you were saying, like create that behind the scenes, BTS. like what you're doing. Hashtag BTS. Cool, so what are some other things that you think of, like in the, the social media world of really giving back to your audience? So educational, yes. Also entertaining, right? People go to social media to learn more about your business. And just get away. And get away, escapism. So what can you do that would be exciting? And you'd be surprised, even if you have a, let's say you run a dental office, like there's still some fun things. I've seen some of the videos online where they're just having a blast. Oh, I've, I saw a local police station do it, like a lip sync battle against another police nice. station. Nice. And it's just super random, but it was entertaining. I watched them all. The whole thing, yeah. Whole so thing. have fun, entertaining posts while also dropping in just anything else that you think would be valuable to your audience. Ah, dropping in. Dropping in. <laughs> and also um, another one of my favorites that's really cool with local businesses, tell your story, introduce some of your staff, maybe showcase your products and services. So you can be salesy, just don't be too salesy. Yeah, you wanna basically tell a story with your video. So it doesn't always have to be uh, just behind the scenes or everything else, you can show a little bit about your product or that experience or what you're doing. And then sometimes talk about new products coming out, new menu items, because mm -hmm. your loyal followers will actually want to see it. Think of the iPhone, like when the iPhone gets released, people go wild. So same thing with your business. If you have something that people yeah. really love and you tell people, hey, it's coming at such and such date. Yeah, or an event. Just decided. Maybe it's not a product, maybe it's an event coming up. You could do a video leading up to it. Yeah. And then also at the event, right? What's happening at the event right now? All right, that's all we have for you. I really hope this helps you optimize your videos online and just start creating content for your followers. Be sure to comment below. Also click like and share. You should probably have some friends out there and some local heroes who have similar questions. Be sure to subscribe. Oh, and ring that bell so you'll be the first to know about our upcoming videos. This is a journey.